What's going on guys? Welcome back to another modern video here on YouTube, Twitch, and everywhere else on the internets. Ah, this is a deck that was commissioned uh, about a week and a half ago by a uh, Twitch subscriber, uh, Sarah C. Good friend, good friend of the stream. And uh, she proposed this Bant Fairy Company list. Um, basically white for, for Path to Exile and some spicy sideboard slots. Uh, one Nissa, interesting, interesting. But then you have like four Phantasmal Image, four Spellsitter Sprites, four Scion of Uno, which is awesome with Phantasmal Image, as you guys may know. Um, a little bit better with the Hexproof guy, but being able to just copy your Scion is also pretty strong. Oh, wait, they give him Shroud, so never mind. I was thinking Phantasmal Image, the, uh, not Phantasmal, the white Drog Skull Captain, because that guy gives Hexproof, right? So I'm like, ooh, once you can't target either of them, it's great. But that is the same thing, because Scion, uh, gives Shroud, so... Yeah, you can collect the company into Scion of Una and uh, Phantasmal Mage wouldn't be able to copy it. That's unfortunate. This is a lot. Of, we're, we're, we're just going. We're just winging this here. Four Pestermite. Three Vendillion Click. We would just traded for one to make the, the to get the third. Two Misbind Click. Four Collected Company. Uh, four Spellstutter Sprite, obviously. Four Fairy Miscreant, which is interesting. Uh, but I do like it because if you hit, even if you hit two of them off Collected, collected Company, you just draw two cards. And um, four nobles. Deck looks pretty straightforward. We have about 22 lands, and uh, I'm going to give it a go, see how it does. Isn't the clone effect to choose? Uh, yeah, you could, you choose. What are you saying right now? What's going on? Oh, that was so loud. Oh, dang it, we missed the boat. Okay, we did it. Play an old Alcander. Alcander. If you know what I mean. You probably don't. It's a confusing situation for everybody. I will play first. Oh, this hand is actually pretty keepable. Turn one miscreant. Oh, I don't think anyone's arguing with you about... M19 being boring, Chad. I don't know. I mean, like, you just can't... Like, it's coming off the heels of Dominaria and... Um... Vintage Cube. <laughs> so it's really hard to, like... Hold a candle to those two sets. My first play was a Fairy Miscreant, which is kind of comical, but... You know. We'll see what happens. We are just going to attack for one. I'm not going to be phantasmal imaging my fairy miscreant. Oh, I see. We're going to be getting Vala cut on. All right, so if we hit a land there, we'd be in great shape. But unfortunately, we did not. So we're not in great shape. That's unfortunate. Correct, it can clone a Shroud guy. Yeah, I wasn't saying it couldn't clone the Shroud guy. I was just saying I wasn't sure if, if Sion of Huna gave Shroud or not as a way to protect the... Uh... Chad Bradbury, 52 months in a row. That is uh, an unbelievable amount of time. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And Noah was a drunk. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Real tempted to path that fairy miscreant, but we did not. And we're just going to name fairy here. I'm pretty sure we're going to click here. Not Papa Perky, what's going on? I do recognize you. Yeah, we're going to V-click during your draw, Stepperino. <coughs> well, excuse me. Apologies. One, two, three. Click will see double shift, but they also have to have a forest. <laughs> Primeval Titan and a far seek. All right. Primeval Titan it is. See you later. 
I mean, they can just go stomping around Farsi, kill our Vendillion click, but... Like you do. Must be nice. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Welp, that's pretty good. Let's get a Botanical Sanctum and a Gavany Township. Those seem like good lands. Unfortunately, this Valakut is probably going to kill us. But let's make them pay their pay their lives. I guess they have to direct it to, to Primeval Titan at this point, so... So we know this is their hand. What did Foothills? Got it. Welp. The problem with his Wooded Foothills is that they can crack it in response to us casting Mistbind Click and kill our gentleman. We can play Scion on Muna and then play Image copying the Scion, but then again they crack this and kill this, so it's pretty rough. Did they play a land? They played Wooded Foothills, so we know these three cards and whatever you drew last turn. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? I mean, the nice thing is if they try to crack this wooded foothills, we can do the thing. We can do the Scion of Una thing. And if they try to kill, we, we might just, I mean, they only get two two triggers here naturally. Like, the the one, the, the wooded foothills is nice because it's just a lightning bolt. It's just an instant speed lightning bolt. Going to the face again, okay. Bloodbraid Elf. Hitting a li another lightning bolt. Okay. Well then. Isn't that a thing? I mean, they're going to come through anyway, so... I guess we could we could get Pestermite. But... I forgot that Pestermite was an option, I guess. Draw a card. Fairy Miscreant. Uh, any order. Um, hmm. Thank you. Let's tap this Wooded Foothill so that they have to use it now. Did they play a land? Cinderglade. Okay, so they're out of lands. Seems good. I'll just take three here. Here it's so risky because they have they can go far seek, get a mountain, and then kill us next turn. One, two, 
three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're, we can put them to one. Oh, they're just going to kill that? Oh, that's actually better. All right. Oh, wait, what just happened? Chose not to use Valakut's ability. Oh, that doesn't seem correct at all. That might... Oh, they still get Wooded Foothills land, though. So, that's weird. So, I think we're still dead. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can actually put them to two, not one. If we can put them to one, we can make it so that they have to crack their wooded foothills, and then they would die. <laughs> hungry, <laughs> hungry Howie bot with the sub. Thank you so much. Oh God. Well, this is awkward. I don't think there's any way we can win here. God, one Valakut. One Valakut. Is it possible they don't have any mountains left? Maybe? They have two in hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess they could get Cinder Glade. They have to have a second Cinder Glade, so. Uh, we know they have two lands in hand. We know all of their hand right now. And also, they could always just crack this in response. Is there anything we can do? Is there, do you have any way to gain life in this deck? I don't think so. Clone Blood Braid. That, oh, uh, does that do anything? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That still puts us at 10, unfortunately. So a Cyan of Una, a clone Cyan of Una, also gives us three power. They both give us three power on board. I'm just not getting my trick today, starting a bit late, even though it rained a lot yesterday. I sold four and six. Whoa, that's sick, Matthew Ori, dude. That's awesome. Congrats, buddy. I keep thinking like we can clone Pestermite, untap a land. Clone Pestermite, untap a land. And then play Scion, but those aren't gonna get haste, so it's like, eh. I feel like there's there's a win here, but I don't think we have it. We we don't get to we don't you don't cascade if you clone Blood Braid Elf because you're not casting it. You guys, you, you guys, we're not. That's not how cascade works, guys. You don't actually get to cascade if you clone something. Man, if we drew, if we just drew the stupid spell stutter sprite, man. No, that doesn't do anything either. Actually, we don't have to kill something. We're just going to actually play Scion. Sure. The problem with this play is that it doesn't give them the option to misplay and kill our guys. Yeah, we're dead. Yep. Figured they'd get another Cinder Glade. Cool. Um, I kind of like Rock's War Monk. It can't be killed by the... I'm going to take two Pestermites out for two Rock's War Monks. Rest in peace, no. Stony Silence, no. Unified Will, not really. Damping Sphere, no. Rex Sage, no. Sower, Sower, no. Sower just dies to the, the other guy. All right, that seems fine, I guess. Uh, 
Well, I, I don't know. I, they, they don't have that many spells like... Yeah, I guess they... I mean, Primeval Titan Escape from the only spells I care about countering. And I feel like we don't have a terrible time dealing with those, so... I mean, I do like having Spellstar Sprite so we can deal with uh, Sakura Tribe Elder on two. Okay. Name Fairy. Double search for tomorrow. Okay. I'm tempted to play a Spellstar Sprite now, so we have a 3-up three, three to counter, like an Anger, or even a uh, Search if we want it. This is where they Lightning Bolt, and so we, so we don't have that, actually. And then we feel real stupid. I mean, it is what it is. And that's pretty good. Although we can't cast it with Cavern of Souls, unfortunately. <coughs> well, I guess we're just going to pass here, keep up Spell Source Bright. Because that's all we can do. You know, that guy I will counter. We can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Another snake man? Far seek. Okay. I'm just going to get a hollowed fountain here. Record so far is 0-0. Zero, zero. This is our first match. Alright, that actually lets us play War Monk, but it also lets us keep up Collected Company. I assume you're going to play Primeval Titan next turn. For the double V cuts. And we're going to try to Collected Company and hit a double Scion of, of Onas. Or Phantasmal Image to copy it, so. Either way, what I'm saying here is we're going to put a lot of faith in this collected company. The most collected of companies. One Bloodbraid Elf instead, eh? Okay. Rex Sage? What does that even hit? That's fascinating. I don't care about either of these, to be quite honest. Let's crack you first. We're doing this now because if we hit another Rock's War Monk off the top, then uh, it's pretty good. And or or alternatively, if we hit a uh... no, we're definitely getting Scion, and we'll probably just copy Bloodbraid Elf, I guess, <clears throat> maybe. This is better. Yeah, because it just dies to the Reclamation Sage anyway, so getting off the board seems probably favorable. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> of course, Anger of the Gods. Oh, boy. Good times. Good times. One, two, three. Well, they're in top deck mode, which is kind of cool, I guess. That is not a top deck. Well, that's pretty good. Um, put you on the top. If it's a land or if it's a primary house, let's put some loyalty counters. Put it into play. I'll just put you on top and you on the bottom. I'll just draw that card instead. <laughs> Said you can do what you want to. This is too many Vendillion clicks. Put them on the bottom, draw a new card, and then we'll make sure it sticks. Do 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 do. All right, so I'm pretty sure you're dead here. Draw. Do you know what's happening? Oh, we're just gonna win the game. Well, Nissa was gonna ultimate anyway, so yeah, I do like Unified Will here actually. I can probably take Miscreant, Miscreant. One path out, because they don't have that many creatures. And I'll bring in... Actually, if you if you take out some Miscreants, it's probably better to just take all the Miscreants out. You act like an imbecile. What's going on in the chat right now? I have no idea. I'm very confused. Take out the one Nissa. I'll take out. I'm just gonna take out the other path actually because we have three unified wills and four images. Yeah, it seems fine. No oh boy. Oh, this hand's not gonna do it unless we top deck land. If we top deck land land, this hand is very good. Even then, it's only kind of good. But he said very good. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're gonna put this on the bottom because we're not realistically in any position to cast that in this game, unfortunately. Did they, I was like, did they search again? Good lord, man. I like how we didn't play Miscreon on turn one. I was actually like, oh, we don't have to play Botanical Sanctum because we can just play Hollowed Fountain on turn one instead. And not take damage, and then we just didn't play the Miscreant. Draw Miscreant here. Okay. Well, that seems fine, I guess. Well, we weren't going to image here anyway, so. No harm done. Although, playing image into Miscreant... Or misgranting damage is a it's a good it's a solid cantrip. Land. Well, that could be a land. Let's find out. That wasn't a land. You guys ready for the Wrath of God? Daniel, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much for the eight months in a row. Oh my god, our one year anniversary is coming up. You're gonna are you gonna anger two miscreants? Sure. Damage is done. Land? That's a good one. I kind of just want the island here. So they can't Titan next turn, which is good for us. So we can probably Pester Might next turn and keep them off Titan if they don't do anything. Super exciting. They also don't have a second green yet, so 
now they do. Bloodbraid Elf into Tribelder. Now we cannot keep them off Titan, but I will block this guy. No attack. All right, sounds good. Land. Give me a land so it's a collective company can do some work. Okay, second rocks war monk is good. Would have liked to land, but you know. What are you gonna do? Oh dang, I don't get to I don't get to hit any lands here. Can we just untap and go double phantasmal image into uh Primeval Titan? Primeval Titan's real scary, though. I don't think we can actually deal with the Primeval Titan, which is super unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to tap a green source here. Force you to have another green source and another land in hand. I mean, you probably do, because they never don't, but uh, maybe you don't. Anger of the Gods? Get to keep our Rocks Monk. Search for tomorrow. Oh, interesting. All right. Okay, that's actually very good. I wish I had a way to deal with a Valakut, but let's be real, there's not that many ways to do it. Is this EOT Collected Company? Actually, we're probably going to miss Bind Click, right? That seems good. I guess they could kill the Pestermite, though, with a Lightning Bolt. Check out another fairy. Ugh, it's so scary. Oh my god, that cat's being ridiculous right now. Thirteen, we're at twenty-two. This mine click is pretty risky. What are the odds they have one lightning bolt in hand? It's real bad if they if they do. Like really bad. We have several options. We collect a company EOT. We miss buy and click here to try to put them off of it. Good lord. All right. No gamble, no future. It's so bad. I feel so bad about this. I feel like if they had Lightning Bolt, they probably would have attacked their Blood Braid into our Rock Swarm. I can just Lightning Bolt it, right? Oh, wow. Okay, that's very good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just go face here. Yeah, all right. Oh, boy. The strong gets stronger. <laughs> Whatever that means. Okay, so now we can keep up Unified Will. We can Phantasmal Image of this guy. Just make another fairy. That doesn't do anything right now, though. Let's, I think we won this match. Unified Will seems OP right now. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's better. Because if they had a way to get rid of one of our guys, we wouldn't have more. And now we have more. Yeah. Yeah. Prime Evil Titan. Get out of my life. Put you to two. And I think we're just passing here and seeing what happens. I don't think we're dead. And they're at two. So we have a bunch of instant speed things we can use. I think we actually should have... Phantasm was a Bloodbraid Elf last turn. So that we could... We would have dealt them an extra three because they block Bloodbraid Elf. And... Um, I'm real tempted to collect a company this because if we hit a... Spell Starter Sprite, it counters it. However, we don't know what they have, right? So if they have Anger, it's real bad. I don't think they have another Prime Time in hand. This feels bad. I don't like it. But we're banking on hitting a Spell Starter Sprite or a Scion, and we actually hit both, which is pretty sick. Okay, so escape shift. Escape shift's pretty bad. We couldn't have countered escape shift anyway, though. So we just have to hope we don't die here, I guess. Like spell starter sprite would only counter to three spell, not a four spell. So. I guess we'll figure it out. Let's see if we're dead. Being at 25 is definitely helpful, though. They have to get a lot of mountains. And they can't actually... The only one they can target that isn't us right now is the Scion. So... Uh, would this deck be better in Sultai? I don't know. It depends on what you're trying to put in here with Sultai. You got lethal, though, if you hold the Coco. If you aren't dead, that is. Right, but... Okay, cool. I'll keep that in mind in the, when next time I go... Oh, I see. Yep, they had enough. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 19, 19. Yep, all right, cool. Fun game. Always a pleasure, Collect Company, or uh, Stake Spirits. Always a pleasure. Cool. I don't, I don't really like the Nissa too much. I feel like we need more cheap fairies to make Spell Starter Sprite worthwhile. Hmm. I do kind of like Ninja of the Deep Hours, actually. That's actually pretty sweet. I'm going to put two Ninjas in. I'll take one Nissa out and one... God, one Vendillion Click, actually. I don't like their Vendillion Clicks just because they're legendary. Let's see what happens. I will play first. This hand is bad. Oh, this hand is not great either, but I'm gonna keep it because I don't wanna go to five here. Uh, it's. I wonder if we have any copies of 
uh, Noble Hierarch actually in the deck, or if it just shows up on the deck page as being in the deck. Oh, look, a, a collected company. Who saw that coming? I kind of do like Quickling, actually. That's a good, that's a good call. Lingering Souls, Lingering Souls. Two different Lingering Souls. And two different Faithless Lootings? Is that right? No, they're both, they're both Dark Ascension, I guess. Okay. It's gonna actually be pretty sweet to be able to um, to be able to phantasmal image a lingering souls token. That's kind of where I want to be. End of turn, we can go scion into phantasmal image, which seems pretty good if they don't have any instant speed removal. If they tap out here, we're definitely doing that. Faux show. Sure. Oh god, I think we're just dead here. <laughs> this is how we died. Unless they're just using that to draw a card to cast Lingering Souls. Come on. Let's do it. Inquisition, really? That's brutal. This is more relevant than the Phantasm image, I think. Buzz buzz. I've been watching on YouTube for the past month or so. Finally catch the stream live. Nice to hear it, Warden of the West. Nice to hear it. Oh, I see. So our hand is now Path to Exile, Gavany Township. That seems good. Against the triple lingering souls in the graveyard deck. Fantastic. What could possibly go wrong? Are there four collected company in this deck? There better be. Yes, okay. Sure. Just lightning bolt it. You know it's dead. You haven't you haven't played a lightning bolt yet. You know there's one in your hand. Come on. Fatal push. Sure. We don't actually have a white source, do we? That's kind of sad. Alright. I don't think Cavern Souls is actually that great in this deck because we're trying to uh, do a lot of things with our mana. And uh, Cavern not being... <laughs> Okie dokie. We're having a good time. Alright, and that'll do. And that'll do. Yeah. <sighs> Rest in peace is definitely coming in against this monstrosity. So is Rock's War Monk, so you have to trigger the thingamajig. Uh, Pestermite. I don't know if I care about Pestermite that much. I mean, there's three Cavern of Souls. It's not like a ton, but there should be should be more white sources in here, right? One, two. There's literally only the two white sources, just two hollowed fountains. Oh, that's pretty rough. I guess we have noble hierarchs as well, but still. Um, I would not mind a temple garden as well, but I mean, our our green is really restricted as well, so not a huge deal. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'll be honest, I am concerned with their uh, 
their token generation here. Talking about token generation. I'll keep this hand. This hand is great. I mean, they're just going to take the rest in peace. But, you know, I mean, outside of that, we have to assume that this hand is great. Do you have enough fairies to justify cavern? Yeah, of course. We have like 20 fairies in the deck. Four miscreant. Uh, four spells that are sprite. Poor pestermite. Four scion. Three vendillion click. Two misbind click. Yeah, there's 21 fairies. That's way more than enough. Oh, well, that's actually just fine. And Hollowed Fountain. Yeah, I didn't care about the bunch up there. That doesn't seem like a big deal. Probably gonna pester might and tap down his black cleave cliffs. They can't fatal push this guy, prevents them from doing the thing. Yes, this is a commission deck critique. That is correct. Yep. No. No, I will not untap your Black Cleave Cliffs. Take two here. Seems fine. This is pretty obnoxious, unfortunately. I mean, if they play something for one, like a Thought Caesar and Inquisition, Spell Source Sprite's pretty good. But then if they kill a Spell Source Sprite in response, they still get to. It's just a two for one. Two for two, I guess. Pineal up on, on pizza? No. 100% no. That sounds miserable. Blood Moon. Hooray! Now we don't get to play magic anymore. If we draw an island here, I might be in the game, but I don't foresee it happening. Yeah, that's not an island. That's probably the farthest thing from an island that I could even imagine. Cool. All right. Well, we're 0-2 right now, unfortunately, which is not great. Anguished Unmaking. Sure. Yeah, I feel like this is probably uh, pretty bad. Yeah, all right, cool. And that's about the end of that. Okay. Um, 
Interesting. So we're definitely taking out one Cavern of Souls for one more source of white mana. Um, I almost like having a Plains in the deck. Our mana requirements are not that heavy, and I like having a way to search for a land in case they play a Blood Moon and still be able to cast our spells. That is a personal preference of mine. Okay. Uh, I don't really see there's a need to cut white altogether. Like, the white hasn't hurt us much. I mean, adding paths, rest, and sorry, silence is not a super big deal. I do feel like you want more counter spells, but there's not really that much you can do, unfortunately. I think the problem is a lack of fairy lords. So you're like, having all these one ones gives them so much time. I mean, I think this is why I think Spirits is actually just the better the better uh, tribal flying deck in modern. Because it's like Spell Sorcerer's Rite's a one one. Pestermite's a two one. Miscreant's a one one. Bitter Blossom makes one ones. Bitter Blossom is great, but I mean, you know, at a certain point it's like, well, these guys are just really small, and Cyan of Una is the only lord you have. Would Cryptic be better than what? Uh, I think Collective Company is significantly better than Cryptic Command in a deck like this. The problem is, like, Cryptic Command doesn't do anything for your game. You just counter their spell, and then, and then what? You attack for two, and then they play another spell. And it's just like, okay, well, we didn't really do anything there. I mean, Cryptic Command's great when you're ahead on board, and you want to actually press your advantage but collective company in this deck helps you press your advantage which is what you want to be doing you want to be moving forward so plus triple blue is significantly more and i didn't attack because i was literally talking to you guys but triple blue is significantly more difficult to to come by than uh single green It's just, a, and also it's a completely different deck. Like, if you're playing collect, Cryptic Command instead of Collected Company, it's not a fairy Collected Company deck, it's then it's just a fairy deck with Cryptic Command. Search on basic land, put it on the battlefield, make it a Drowsy. Sure. Can't really do anything about that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next turn, you'll have eight mana. That's a lot. That is a lot. Let's get a Hollowed Fountain. Presuming you're not going to play Blood Moon. He said foolishly. See, and this is stupid because, like, now we have no way to deal with a a primeval titan on turn three, and uh, even pestermite doesn't stop their thing. Might want to take actually one pestermite out and put the other vendillion click in. I don't like multiple vendillion clicks because they get stuck in your hand, but it might be better than having four pestermites, which don't actually feel like they do much. I don't think I like pestermite at all. Actually, I don't think it's just I just don't think it's a very good card. I mean, unless you're winning on the on the spot, like it's just a two-one flyer that taps one land, and tapping one land in modern is not super oppressive. One, two, three, four, five. This would be six. So even if we tap one land down, you already have seven on board. Yeah, always a pleasure, Primeval Titan. Well, that's pretty good. Wow, it's funny that we faced two of these out of the three decks after it was reprinted in M19. What a surprise. Who saw that coming? Oh, well, look, we have to crack this and go to 12, which actually feels terrible against the Valakut deck because 12 is a denomination of three. 
or vice versa. That's cool. <laughs> In response, I'll tap it to kill your guy. Because you can have one pure unadulterated Frank Buck. Well, that's pretty good, but it doesn't stop your primeval titan, now, does it? So now we have a choice between either collected companying and maybe hitting absolutely nothing and dying uh, from the two lightning bolt triggers, which also becomes four lightning bolt triggers thanks to the Valakut. Or we can pester might and tap down their primeval titan and just hope their natural lands in hand are not enough to kill us. So, I mean, like, we're just not doing anything very... We're not doing anything that's very powerful, unfortunately. I hate to say it. I mean... This and this do not compete with this and these two. And this and Valakut is an, not necessarily one of the top tier modern decks. Maybe it will be now that people can just afford to scape shift. I mean, to be fair, we actually have two Pestermites and four Phantasmal Images that we can hit off Collected Company. So I think that's probably reasonable. And uh, considering that we're not going to win by just playing a Pestermite here, it might be our best course of action. Miscreant and Scion. I'm pretty sure we're dead. All right. That's the end. Okay. We had a good run. And by good run, I mean a bad run. So Unified Will, we're bringing that back in. Warmonk comes back in. Fairy Miscreant's pretty bad. Take out these. Got ninjas. Ninjas actually great with fairy miscreant. Hmm. The lack of interaction is really a problem because it's modern, and if you don't interact with your your, your opponent's deck, they're just gonna kill you. Um. Yeah. So it's like the humans deck where you have Thalia, and you have Reflector Mage, and you have all these cards that really really do stuff on the board, and here we just have like, Pestermite. You know, and it's rough because the enters the battlefield abilities are really the ones you want to stop. Um, or you, you want to get rid of the creature, rather, so you can at least get damage through, like with a Reflector Mage. But, I mean, the damage is already done at that point. Ah, Leyline does seem good, which is probably why they brought in their own Reclamation Sage, because they wanted to get rid of our Leyline, which is pretty good. Pretty good. I got a spell sputter, take out a pester mite. <sighs> take out one miscreant, I guess. I don't know. I do like bringing in makeshift mannequin to take take control of their Valica triggers. What's a Valic cult? Is that what you guys are in if you if you if you pray to play pray to scape shift? The scape shift gods? I will play first. I'll keep this hand. See, and the problem is, like, you have this cool engine where you, like, you play Fairy Miscreant and a Fairy Miscreant into Ninja the Deep Hours, bouncing Fairy Miscreant, then you replay Fairy Miscreant, and then you get to draw these cards. But the deck has a lot of relatively expensive cards, like 3-drop, three 3-drop, three 3-drop, three 3-drop. Three so, like, even if you draw 3 cards or 4 cards off of a, off of a synergy like that, you still, you have no, in, you have no time to actually play these cards in Modern because it's so oppressive. Look at look who look who decided to show up. That would have been great last turn because this turn we could actually ninja the deep towers. But uh, you know, magic does what it wants, I guess. Yeah, let's go fairy. Could have went rhino monk, which actually probably would have been better because it lets us cast the rocks more monk rather than sitting on it. But I just defaulted to fairy there, which is pretty bad. I'm not I'm not proud of my actions. Have you tested Vile versus Coco? No, I have not. This is a uh commission deck, so I have played three matches with it so far. Um Scion could be good. The problem is if they just go like I think we're actually just ninja the deep hourings and then replaying Miscreant. I just want the card here. Ooh. Well, I'll be. Yeah, that seems better.
lightning bolt that guy. Dang, we're just gonna have to do it again. Just gonna have to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're in that situation again where I guess we can tap down a green though and just fingers crossed they don't have another green. I do like that, but it literally is the only thing we can do this turn. We can also Vendillion click them, which is nice. Probably Vendillion click. It seems a little safer, but... Oh, wow. Let's not do this right now. I don't know what we're doing there. Draw a step. Yeah, I was reading, reading chat and getting significantly distracted. All right. I like their odds of, uh, all right, let's see, having less primeval titans than they do forests in hand. Of course, scape shift and search for tomorrow. Okay, so they had multiple green sources. That's nice. Well, let's get rid of your scape shift. So this is your hand that we know of. And they're like, land primeval titan. Thanks, idiot. I'm like, okay, I'm here to help. Okay, I accept. Oh, they played a Valakut. Okay, so we know they have two stomping grounds in hand. Sounds good. See, again, like, if I had another land here, it'd be great because we can do more than one thing. So now I'm kind of, like, kind of just priced into playing Ninja on here. And then just hoping we hit a land after. And if we don't, it's super awkward. All right, that's actually not bad. problem is that we know they have two stomping grounds. Alright, so one down. Don't do anything. If you do anything here, I'll probably counter it. 100% that. I guess we'll use a blue. What up, undreamt tuna? The most undreamt of the tunas. Okay, so again... We're in this awkward situation where we just can't cast two things in one turn, which is really a hindrance. Oh, well. Interesting. Drawing a card here seems great. Hey, that's pretty good. So now... We can Pester Might... Untap a thing. Could also just play Rock Swarm. Could also keep a play Miscreant and Scion of Una. Is probably correct. They have two cards. You know, one of them is a stomping ground. So, yeah, we're just gonna try to Scion here and then Scion again and then kill them. That that's the ideal situation. But any land here is gonna deal six. So. To just shoot these guys. Pow, pow. All right, one there, and one there. All right, so this should help a little bit. Give me that shroud. Ninja dies, but we knew that was happening. And this is where they like, mm, okay, scape shift, kill you. Prime evil titan. Is it possible to draw two dead draws? Is that ever possible? Where they just draw two cards that aren't game winning? Probably not. So you go Oh, they all have to go on the stack at the same time, so the only one they can kill is the is the Scion, which is nice. So we go to eleven. Alright, well. So they we have four power on board. Five, six with a scion. Brutal. We can put you to one. Let's draw a Phantasmal Image off the top. And then just kill them. 
Mm. Again, if we had two lands, we can play Scion this turn and Scion. That would kill them. Uh, we could also play Scion into Pestermite. Pestermite tapping their Primeval Titan and Scion countering whatever they... All right. Well... Sure. Farsi. Six damage. Sounds good. I don't I can't imagine what they have in hand that isn't a land. So Alright. I mean if you have a land in hand, we're dead. And they do. Alright. Good times, good times. Oh three so far, unfortunately. Oh boy. So one of the biggest issues is that we just don't have enough mana to do what we want to do. And the times we do, like we're turning a spell source bright into a from a one one into a two two with a scion of Una. Um Yeah, I, I almost think the white is a little too cute despite the great sideboard cards, and you might just want something like uh, Bitter Blossom instead because it's just the, the clearly more powerful card. And I don't think you also want Noble Hierarch if that's the case. It's just not a fairy. It has no fairy. <laughs> fairy synergies. Let's look up fairies and see if we can just change things. Advanced. Fairy. Blue, black, and green in modern. Scion, spell stutter sprite, thieving. Okay, so that's type. All right, let's. Okay, well, that's fairy. Okay. Bitter blossom seems good. Get rid of path. We have fatal push if we need it. Does not get rid of. Uh, What do you call it? It doesn't get rid of Primeval Titan, which is clearly a problem because the modern format is now overrun by Scape Shift decks, thanks to the reprinting. Which is, you know, it's a positive outcome. <laughs> um, okay, so we added Water Grave. We were going to take out... Ah, two Hollow Fountains. Okay, we did that. Added a swamp to get the other swamp. Forest is good. Gavany Township, you are bad. Misty Rainforests are fine. Flooded Strands can be Deltas. That's 21 lands. We just need one more thing. We'll probably just add another Watery Grave. Because at this point, the uh, we can also take this out for a Dark Slick Shores. I mean, I do like Collected Company here, but I'm not sure if it's going to make the... See, the problem is, like, you're just turning this into a... Into a blue-black fairies, right? Like, it's that's the biggest issue here. And I don't want to do that, because that's not the, the spirit of the stipulation. Not the stipulation, but the, the critique, rather. The problem is I do just feel like Bitter Blossom is just way too good to be. Like, the, the, your incentive for playing fairies is Bitter Blossom. Unfortunately, Una's Blackguard was always a card I thought was really cool. Um, I, I wonder if we have enough rogues. This is a rogue. This is a wizard. That's a rogue. Like, you're, you're incentivizing us for playing Pestermites in the deck if we're playing Una's Blackguard. Which is kind of cool, actually. I wish these were rogues, but they're never going to be a fairy. Oh, it's, it's usually a rogue. It's just rogues in general. It doesn't actually care about this guy. Um.
Each other rogue, you want to earn an additional 1 1 counter. So, fairy miscreants are rogues, which does incentivize us to do that. If you copy a rogue, it's going to enter the battlefield with a counter. Pestermite is a rogue. Bitter Blossom makes fairy rogues, correct? Black fairy rogue creature, yeah, that's pretty legit. Um, Mistbind Click is obviously a wizard. I don't actually know. Yeah, Mistbind Click is better with Una's, uh, with uh, Bitter Blossom for sure, so. Yeah, I still like Unified Will a lot. One, two, three. And Fairy Macabre is probably pretty good. I don't think I like Sower of Temptation. I don't think there's any any deck that you, you steal something and then you don't actually just have it killed. So Unus Prowler, Pepper Smoke, Quickling is a thing. Yeah, all the other fairies are pretty bad. I think this is correct. I can see cutting one Phantasmal Image. That seems fair. Um, I do like Black Leyline, but I, I don't know if that's better than Fairy Macabre. That's actually tricky because Fairy Macabre is a fairy. It's a wizard. Oh, it's a fairy rogue. That's actually relevant. What can you do with a fairy rogue? I think this looks pretty close to where we want to be. I like Unified Will a lot. Uh, I definitely don't feel like you need Relic in the, in the deck. I think I think Relic is just worse than Fairy Macabre and worse than Leyline. I think it's like the third best black card if you're playing a Fairy-based deck. Bill Brown, what's going on, buddy? We have Fairy Macabre right here. This is our, our graveyard. Are there enough rogues for the... I mean, Bitter Blossom makes rogues, right? Like, you have Bitter Blossom, you have Fairy Miscreant, you have Pestermite, like. Gets pumped with Scion. I think it's all very, I think it's all fine. Is there any good black lifelink cards? Losing Leyline is rough. Like, that's not, that's not thrilling. I'm just going to add more of these. I had the full set of those guys. Let's try it as this this Soul Tie version. I don't know if it's going to be any better, but we can still call it Fairy Company. 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 Scavenging use could be good. I don't. I just worry about how much how many green sources we have. Um. Yeah. Let's do this. There we go. Turn one. Turn one. Search. Search for uh, Ascanta for tomorrow. Search for tomorrow's Ascanta. Well, that was a good draw. Now we can go this guy into this guy and still do this thing. All right. Put in a play tag. Oh, they took two. Ooh. I has the scares. Fairy. Fairies. We'll start with this, because if they're going to keep their mana untapped, I'm not going to throw a Bitter Blossom into like a Mana Leak or something, or like a Syncopate for one, or a Condescend for one. And I hope they still try to counter this, because it would make me feel great about my life choices. Great about my life choices. Oh, an opt. And they already took two? Get wrecked. Alright, I guess we got wrecked. I guess we were truly the wrecked, the wrecked ones. Alright, well. We can't play around Syncopate. We can't play around Condescend. So I guess we just run out the Bitter Blossom and, and YOLO. Actually, we could just keep up Scion. Let's do that. Let's go end of turn Scion. 
into Phantasmal Image. I like that better. Because we get to keep up Cavern of Souls. Or because we get to keep up... Uh, yeah, we get to use Cavern of Souls, basically. No, I. you'd like to... It's, it's, it's kind of... You kind of get tricked into thinking Cavern protects... Um, Bitter Blossom because it has the type that you named, right? But it's not a creature. It specifically says creatures, unfortunately. That is good because we get to dodge Cryptic Command here. But I don't think we're going to be able to dodge Electrolyze, which is really my, my life's greatest failure. Oh, Elk Tears with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it, despite your, your your very, very weirdness right now. I cannot trust you. So we're going to go Phantasmal. I think I guess we go Bitter Blossom. They try to counter that. Then we just go Image Copy this. Do we just assume they have nothing? They could just go Snapcaster Bolt. Check yourself before you wreck thyself. Solid strategy. All right, let's see it. God, if they kill us in response, it's just actual the biggest blowout I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, never don't have second lightning bolts. Cool. <sighs> I'm having a good time. Spider View, thanks so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm just going to take the two here and uh, try one of these jobbies again. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't you have a spell snare in hand? One more time. Just let it resolve. He's not hurting anybody. Okay, this time you're just going to go into play tapped. I don't care. Get in there for two. I also hope they countered it. Never. I'm glad to hear the set is pretty fun. I've heard mixed mixed feelings. I've heard some. I've had some curmudgeonly friends be like, "This is pretty rough. I don't really want to draft this." And then I've had some other friends be like, "Hey, this set's actually pretty cool. Three lightning bolts are better than one." I think we just double black guard here. Sure, you got it. Black guards for days. Snapcaster, lightning bolt, another black guard. They didn't do that. All right. Well, I don't know what they have. They have five cards. They're all spells. I can't. I also can't wait to do some nexusing of fate. It's really weird that they're not in packs, and then I have to like. I don't actually know how to acquire them online. 
So we were talking about it earlier, how they're only in treasure chests, but like I'm looking at GoatBots, which is my sponsor. So if you guys are ever getting Magic Online cards, you should definitely check out GoatBots. One curmudgeon buck. Nice. Thanks so much, Kerwit. Appreciate it, buddy. But Nexus of Fate is being sold at $21.99 on GoatBots. And um, they don't actually have any in stock because they're just not available, if you know what I'm saying. All right, let's get in there. Is it random? It's got to be. No, it's just regular. Regular discard. Get a free discard here? This is great news. I went 4 last night with a black-red sack deck with three reassembly skeletons, which was alarmingly fun. Alarmingly fun. Oh, the miscreants would draw two cards, actually. I still think the double black cards are better. I'm just going to pass here. I almost want you to tap three mana to try to kill this Una's black guard. Snapcaster, Lightning Bolt, and then I will collect a company in response. Oh, that came into play untapped. Isn't that interesting? I will play you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight lands. Good lord. I already feel like the Una's Black Guard version is more powerful, so. More powerful wizards. Well, actually, it's more powerful rogues. Thank you very much. All right, you don't have Cryptic Command Man anymore. One, two, three, four. And we can pay... Sure. <laughs> Five lands. And a very timely Spell Stutter Sprite. That's pretty comical, actually. Oh, boy. All right, gets through. Good times, good times. What in the earth, man? What even is fairies? Worst collected company ever it ends up surprisingly average. I don't even know if I want to crack this delta. We just put four lands on the bottom. Five lands, actually. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is thirteen lands total. So there are eleven, nine lands in between here and the bottom of our deck. One and one. You got it. They have one card in hand? Okay. Why wouldn't you kill the Una's Black Guard instead? That's interesting. They're in top deck mode because of this Una's Black Guard? That's insane. What even is life? Wasn't killing this better? Intriguing. Did you just get Una's Prowler and Una's Blackguard confused? That's fairiest. What is it gonna be? Anger of the Gods. Dang, I really want to just play this, but... Oh well. You got it. No counters for me, I guess. One, two, three... Come on, Mistbind Clickerino. 
doesn't matter because you actually don't have any cards in hand. Botanical Sanctum. <laughs> Hand of Fate 2. Interesting. That seems pretty sweet. Well, I'm going to play this Botanical Sanctum because it comes in the play Taparino. The Flood is real, dude. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 5 on the bottom. That's 14 lands. 8 lands between here and the next 35 cards. Our odds seem low to draw lands, but here we are. Here we are. That's a good one, presuming they did not draw a counterspell or a snapcaster mage, or they don't draw into one with their desolate lighthouse. Oh, they're going to kill it. Oh, they're going to activate colonnade and block? That's aggressive, but it does leave us open for bitter blossom, I believe. Unless they literally drew spell snare off the top, exactly, which would be insane, and I would probably just throw this game away on, on principle, I think. However, I'm pretty sure Colonnade is a... Did we not tap this for black? That's weird. Pretty sure Colonnade is a sizable uh, problem for our deck. Despite the fact that they're at 10 and we're at 15. And, uh... The, like, it, again, we're experiencing the same problem where, like, our creatures themselves are not powerful enough. Like, there are certain decks where the opponent just draws a, a Primeval Titan and then our deck draws, like, a Pestermite. And you're just like... That's rough. You know, in late game, Una's black card's not great. In the early game, I think it's really, really good. And then you have cards like Sun Titan, where you get to bring back, say, Gideon. Sweet top deck. Especially when you have exactly the right mana for it. Exactly six, exactly two, two, two planes. Exactly a Gideon in your graveyard that you discarded. Very strange, but I don't know why you would do that instead of making an emblem, which is the same, but okay. What do I know? Interesting choices all around. Oh, that was a good draw. Sarah, we are Sultai, unfortunately. So they discard land to try to find Path to Exile? Sure. Alternatively, we could have played Mistbind Click after their their turn so that we, they couldn't Gideon the Mistbind Click, but... Choose another fairy permanent. I really want to get rid of the rogue, but I also don't want to get rid of the bitter blossom. Interestingly enough, what have you done? <laughs> Sorry, we've been trying this whole time. The problem is if we take this, uh, then they deal us a million. Like they can attack with Sun Titan and this guy, and we tap we like either just chump block with the with the misbind click, or we take ten. 
And then we're going down to four with a, with the Bitter Blossom in place. So that's pretty rough. So now I'm pretty sure they're just going to actually prevent all damage that this Mistbind Click would deal. I feel like not making an Emblem last turn was pretty bad because it, it makes it so we actually never have to kill Gideon if we don't want to. Yep, yeah, you can get a land back. See, even this game, I feel like we were way ahead, but now like their 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 cards are just stronger than ours in the late in the late game, unfortunately. Yeah, we're gonna jump block here. I don't think it's worth taking six. Um, pot, the problem with populate that I would see on the you know just just initially is that it's a one for one and if they have a way to remove your token in response you just get nothing right it's the same reason that like i was afraid to play a misbind click when i only have one fairy on board or like a phantasmal image when i only have one thing to copy on board because if they just kill it you're just dead phantasmal image would also be great here would also be phenomenal here can we get a phantasmal image one time we still can Or we can just put you to four, but they have a colonnade, so I don't think that's actually going to do the job. And we get our bee blossom back. Yes, I will thousand percent. Oh God, I'm really looking for one phantasmal image, dude. One, one phantasmal image. That is unbelievable to me. Is that a ninja prank? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, Sarah, you missed a bunch, buddy. Oh. What? Interesting. Just a snapcaster for no value? That's very strange. I feel like this during upkeep would have been significantly better. I have no cards in hand. And we have to block here, or else we're just dead. And if they have a way to get rid of it, they just manage... No, they can't actually top tick anything. They don't have any card in hand. Why would they activate Desolate Lighthouse? Alright. I guess you figured out you have no cards in hand. Sounds good. Well, we die if we block. Or if we don't block. So we're just blocking the Sun Titan. Going to four. This guy can get through if Sun Titan didn't have Vigilance, which is a cool ability. Phantasmal Image. Still decent because we can actually get Pestrite back, tap down Sun Titan. Going to three here. Jeez. There's a lot of things that kill us here. That's not that's not gonna do it. Alright. Okay. Collected company, that would have hit some very good things. Yeah, that would have been good. Alright, let's try it again. I feel like Unified Will is probably good. I feel like Thoughtseize is probably pretty good. Um, 
God, we want all the cards, though. Miscreant's probably the worst card. Miscreant is, such, is not a great card. Sorry, I hate to tell you, Miscreant's just not doing the job. Miscreant is not getting the job done. Which makes Ninja worse, too, but Ninja's a kind of a cool uh, little little card card drawing McDrawerson over here. All right, let's see what happens. You should go negative 60 fairies plus 60 zombies. That's usually, that's probably how it goes, yeah. I think the zombie deck was significantly more efficient. Um, and the reason being that it won a lot more games for us. Whereas uh, fairies, the problem is with fairies that we're just, the, the individual cards are not as strong. And all the, all the successful tribal decks in modern have multiple lords. Um, like if you look at Merfolk, they have literally four or five lords. Zombies had four or five lords. And fairies don't really... <sighs> wow. Seven over 44, thank you so much, man. Thank you, really appreciate the the bits. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to mulligan this, but I'd probably keep it if we had two lands because that is a lot of Una's Blackguards. Are you any good? I'm going to bottom you. I really like you against Sun Titan, but we're actually going to go turn two this because I don't really feel like taking four. I'd rather just take three. And, two, and by three, I mean two because I just say random numbers until I get them right. Crack you. Crack that whip. Let's see what you got. Spell Pierce. What's up, Ermgon? We are on currently on match number four. This is the first match we've played with black instead of white. So we're Sultai instead of Bant. And uh, has not been super successful. Have you considered playing the band version versus not scape shift? I've tr I've considered it. We also did one time. Um, still did not work out as well as we would have liked it to. But uh, just just I'll have you know I did consider it. Are you really gonna spell pierce this? Oh, I see. That feels worse than just letting this resolve, right? Because, yeah, I'll take your Nahiri. So these are your six cards. Four lands, a lightning bolt, and a path. Like, if you have a good card on top and you just want to draw it, like, I'm just going to take that. I, otherwise, I'm not taking the opt. I could care less about your opt. Okay, good. The one card I didn't know about. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Let's Vendillion click here. Because it is not a rogue, so we're not going to get any black guard abilities. And boy, do we sure hope to hit a land here. Also, I built this for a new Spirit Lord is printed now. There's no reason to pick favor. I, I actually agree with you. And I was literally going to wonder if... if uh, if you were also going to play some spirits. Uh, spell Snare, Path, Lightning Bolt... I think I'm least concerned. You have a um, spell snare gets black guard, but I don't know if that's good enough. Spell snare seems the most the most versatile. At least we get something out of. Or I could just leave this whole hand and not care. Thank you. I want to take the lightning bolt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, Sulphur Falls. Uh, this one, this one, this one. Pessimistic Pengu, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back.
Kerwit, lost in Franklation for relaxing times makes it Frank time. <laughs> I accept. I accept your one lost in Franklation book. I will be the Scarlett Johansson to your Bill Murray, good sir. But not in any kind of awkward way. That's actually literally what I was hoping you'd do. This all worked out perfectly. Um, I'm just going to get another black source just in case. That was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Wait, so they played the flooded strand that we didn't know about? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's great. Oh, they have black. They have. Oh, oh, we go blackguard. They go spell snare. We go stutter sprite, and then uh, we have the makings of a perfect collected company board. Oh, things are all coming up Millhouse right now, good sir. Good good sirs and ladies. Oh, I kind of like Kira's Obsession in, in Spirits. Alright, so Lighthouse and Spell Snare is gone. So we know we know you have three lands and... Oh, really? Some guys have all the luck. Some guys have all the luck. Do I even do I just wait? I have to wait in case they have anger or wrath or something. Man, oh man. Mano, a mano. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna presume they don't just hit a counter spell off the top. What a dumb thing to do. That's what I'm saying. Chat overlay is frozen? I can see it. What are you saying right now? It just moved. It literally, the bottom message says also chat overlay is frozen. Never mind, there it goes. Oh, I see. Hollowed fountain? Alright, so we know two of the three. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh. Oh, one black guard. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. That did not work as well as we would have liked it to. Uh oh. Whoa. Yeah. Unexciting. Discard an island. Nailed it. <sighs> Hollowed fountain. That's a that's a fountain with nothing on the inside of it. Boy, these collector companies have been real sad. None mics today. Well, you got Frank Mike here. That's kind of like a mic. I has a sadness. God, their draws are so good. It's just so, so magical. Scion and Blackguard, I guess, because otherwise Phantasmal Image comes into play with, with nothing. Oh, that was a good draw. Let's do that. Oh yeah, we're shrouded up real good, boys. Something with nothing on the inside sounds like my father. Infinite cringe. <laughs> God. Oh, Lord. Chat Mike is always here. Thank goodness. Did you hit another Supreme Verdict like you do? Or are you going to Snapcast her into the Supreme Verdict?
Am I going to play in the SS PBTQ? Not really. Probably not. I don't foresee myself doing that. Because I don't care. I hope you try to counter this. Are you going to do it? Oh, they are going to do it. Are you going to do it? Don't say you're not going to do it. What are you doing right now? Are you going to remand it because you don't think remand is a counter spell? It just bounces? What's happening right now? Lightning Helix my face. Okay, so you have nothing left. Alright, well, I'll take a gander, I guess. Well, Gideon's definitely more of a threat than Anger of the Gods, so enjoy your Anger of the Gods. I like that you tapped in such a way. You tapped this instead of this, so now you can't actually cast the Anger? That's pretty cool for us, I guess. Get a free hit in. Well, that's because it's the Gladiator format. Everybody knows that. Yeah, we're just going to play Delta. Is it worth trying to trade land up for something? What does that mean? If you mean with Vendillion Click, you can't do that. That's not how Vendillion Click works. What do you think of new Lily in the zombie deck? I think she's probably great. Um, I mean, that card is literally three zombie modes, right? You got it. He's dead. Did you draw another Gideon? That'd be amazing. It's <laughs> unbelievable, man. Oh my god. Supreme Verdict into Supreme Verdict. Vendillion Click getting rid of Gideon into another Gideon. Poof. This is something, man. To say I'm... Impressed is an understatement. Even the matches we feel like we should kind of have a chance in, it's not going well. It's not good. Would you rate your level of fun right now as more of a crunchy or soft taco? Right now it's more of a soft taco. It is a flaccid soft taco is what's happening right now in terms of fun level. I'm just going to... Yep, we're done here. All right. So, did they not attack? Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, my goodness gracious. Card at Elkatears unhugged by my father. God, legendary planeswalker, sad middle child. That is gas. Hmm. Yep, let's try again. Try again. If only I could cop could could make a Gideon. Nope, can't can't do that. That is not how copy and planeswalkers work. Hey, that's pretty good. Of course, they have three cards in hand, so our odds of hitting something are 
considerably low, and they also have Anger and Supreme Verdict in case they have a uh, Snapcaster Mage, but, you know, other than that, you know, what could possibly go wrong, really? What if you mannequin the Gideon when it's a creature? That's actually a good. That's a good. That's a good suggestion. I think that's actually probably what we're gonna try to do. I mean, it is possible that they just have three lands in hand, right? No, no, it's not. Is Collected Company a fairy creature? Doesn't look like it. Guys, I want you to know, no matter how this ends. I had a good time with you guys being here right now. Some Gideons have all the luck. God, this Gideon is just such aggression. Um, excuse me, I would like to counter your spell. I, uh... I don't want you to play anything during our match, so I would like to make sure that this does not resolve. <laughs> okay, you got it. Let's let's get on with it. I'm going to lightning helix your face, and then I will lightning bolt your face. That was a good impersonation of my brother when I play him. Fair. That's what I'm going for. I'm going for all the brothers around the world. That is the quintessential magic brother right there. What's happening right now? Just kill me or let me resolve my spell or don't. This is where they remand it and we feel bad about not playing our second Cavern of Souls. But, oh, Jesus. Yeah, irrelevant. Oh, come on. All right, we're done. Not going to do it. All right, 04 with the fairy deck, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to save this final version so you guys can still check it out if you'd like. Um, and, uh, yeah. I, uh, sorry, not your best offering, but I, I still had a good time. We still had a good time trying it out. We still had a good time figuring out what was wrong with it. I think fairies as a tribe just aren't as strong as they could be. And that's it's funny because they did unban Bitter Blossom uh, thinking it was going to be terrifying. And it's really just not, it's not that big of a deal in modern. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to have your own deck critiqued by us, and by us I mean me and the and the chat, the accompanying chat, uh, feel free to check out my Twitch profile or check out the link below in the description. Um, you can also check me out on Patreon, and if you want to support the stream in that way, both of those are options. But um, yeah, Fairy Miscreant, kind of a this this is an unsung Magic Origins card where you're just like, well, you could be good, but I don't think you are. I would rather have a card that does more than a card that gives than the card that lets me draw a card that does more. Does that make sense? So, yeah. Anyway, deck was all right. Uh, is I like I like the black guard synergies a lot. I just don't think fairies is doing it. Fairies is not the menace that it used to be. Is because modern is just a much scarier format, and you're basically like, hey, uh, I'll play a turn three pester mine, and they're like, okay, I'll just kill you, escape shift, and then you're like, it's a fair play. And then, you're, and then you're done. And, uh, all right. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, for you, for those watching on Twitch, I'm not ending, I'm not going away. I'm just going to end the YouTube video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. So, thanks for watching.